Oh my god! Oh my god. What was that? 852. Eight. What's that? Eight. What was it? I'm gonna have to replay that. What was it? Eight five. I think it was eight five two or eight five three. I see where the eight five is from. The hands. What was it? A two or three? Maybe it's eight five, and then the three is supposed to be the amount of numbers, but like between the two hands. But honestly, I do not care. I've done it. I get to see something different. I am so. Ooh. I guess he wants to kill me. Um, what the hell is this guy's problem? Alright. What was up that scream he made? I don't know, maybe he had his tongue ripped out or something. Like, no weapon? Guess I'm gonna. I have to use my fists. What does this do? It does absolutely nothing. That's nice. What door? There is no door. It says a door is sealed. I'm so glad I've done that puzzle. I'm sure you are too. The door of death has been passed. There's no way in hell any of these puzzles are going to be harder than that one. Whoa, what the hell? Right, it's glass. Oh, oh no. What's up with the timer? Alright, oh, I think I get it. You have to hit all of the buttons before the timer resets. If the timer resets, all the lights go out and you got to hit them all over again. Before the time runs out. Um, I hope I can go back out. No, that's right. Okay, that was worth it. Another puzzle piece. I'm on the right track. Oh, I forgot about that. Can I climb up? Oh my... I guess I can't climb up there. I tell you what, that glass is really annoying. I hate how the screen just flashes red. It's nice to be alerted that you're dying, but... It's just so sudden. For those of you who haven't noticed the connection yet, K2K, um, like that was, that was um, the gang name at the factory from the first Saw film, where Jigsaw's lair was. It was like graffiti on the wall. It's just a breath of fresh air to see something different after staring at that combination lock for hours on end. There's a case file in there. How do I get in there? I guess I get in there later somehow. Up the stairs, right. I'm gonna fail this on purpose. Oh. I was kinda hoping that was a shotgun though. Because we haven't seen him die from that yet. I like how they play out the puppet's laugh. It's as if, you know, just mocking you. I don't really see what's the point in giving you, telling you to press X to restart either. I mean, if that's the only option we can take, what's the point of giving us an option at all? Just restart automatically. Like, it's not as if it gives you an option to continue and quit. See? They give you way too much time. But, you know... I do like how they've kind of tried to change it up a bit, and they have two buttons on them, which you have to press now. Because the, in the first game, there's just one. And they were all shotgun doors, so it's nice how they changed it up a bit. Okay, did that serve any purpose going up here? 
Like, seriously, that, that was that pointless? Can't even jump down here. Tell me I have to walk around. Ah, right, I didn't see that. Good thing I noticed that, otherwise I would have spent like the next half an hour wandering around the place trying to figure out where to go. One way but forward. Hmm, what's on here? A bunch of numbers. Kinda looks like the flammable jelly trap and so one with Mark. We had to find the combination on the wall. Alright, let's wait for this to reset. Okay, here we go. Nail. Heart. Great monitor thing. Foot. Alright, nail. Where's the nail? Nail. What the hell, man? Where's the nail? Alright, down there. Nail, heart, thing, foot. That's easy. Nail, heart. No! Oh, it's the thing in front of me, you know. Foot. Nail, heart, foot. Okay, let's go back. Nail, heart, foot. Does that mean I have to step on them in that order, or does it mean I can step on any of them? And like, at, at any order. I'm gonna try it. No, I have to step on them in order. How picky does a game have to be to, like, do that? Right, let's move on. Fair heal. That was not an accident. Who's this? Ooh. Here we go. Shit. Someone from the department leaked one of our files on Jigsaw to the press. I just received a call asking for my comment on the Jigsaw killings. How did they know what we called him? It couldn't be anyone on my team. I'll be checking to see if any trainees are driving around a new car. This creates Possibility of copycats. Thankfully, most of the details on the assignment have been kept locked away in my home files, so the press probably just has general details, gossip, and stuff like that. But the worst aspect of leaking jigs out to the press is going to be those damn groupies. Every serial killer gets them. I re to be honest, I really prefer the way it used to be with the cassette tapes. And what I mean by that is just like you could walk around and just listen to them. You don't go to a separate menu like that. Like it's okay, but I just prefer the old way. Because this way, that way, it wouldn't interrupt the gameplay. But I don't mind it. It's not much. It's like it's not big of a deal. Balance beam isn't much harder. All you gotta do is tap L2 and R2 at the same time, while keeping your balance, of course. Oh look, the room of death, the door of death, the clock of death, call it wherever you want. I hear. I hope I never have to go in that room ever again. I'm guessing I gotta use this axe to cut the chain. <laughs> Woohoo, I was right. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Nice. The voice acting for this game is right, actually. I mean, it's a lot better than the first one. I know we haven't seen him for a while and it's a bit random to say it, but I'm kind of excited for the battle with Pighead. Um, I know the battle for the first game was kind of disappointing, because, like, you could just electrify him and kill him instantly. Or you could literally just punch him and, and he wouldn't be able to fight back. Oh, uh, I'm going to be quiet again.
Paul Leahy, or I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce the second name, but he's the guy in the Razor Wire Maze from the first film, in case you didn't know. Okay, this obviously has a trap in it, otherwise it wouldn't be so dark. Yep, bombs. Right, here I go. Alright. Three minutes, plenty of time. I really wish I had a, some co some kind of uh, light source. Okay, it's one of these things. Of course, this was used like all the time in the first game, in the bomb rooms. I can't move. What the hell? What the? I don't know. What, all right, that was weird. Where's the exit? Okay. These things are pretty easy, pretty straightforward. There's not really like much places um, for them to move, so you're basically just pulling them any, like you know, moving any. I I'm just gonna stop talking. I don't even know what I'm talking about, to be honest. Um, is that the door I came in through? I don't really. I don't know. The door is unblocked. I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like when the explosives detonate. Since it's the sequel and the graphics have been improved a bit, you know, maybe it, the explosion looks better. I think I just figured out uh, what I gotta do. Gotta push one of these uh, carts against that metal thing. Kind of like a pressure plate. Then it, the door will open. Well, that's what I'm assuming. So we just push, the, push this to the end of the room and hopefully the door will open. They are a bit generous with the time limit still. I mean that 30 seconds to save that guy was pretty good because I was kind of panicking. See this should be like two minutes long in my opinion of course. I know maybe some people find the, the puzzles harder. Well, no one finds the puzzles harder than me. Well that clock puzzle. I hate that. I still don't understand it. Alright, oh, I think I get it. If they come up and attack you like that, then you have to do the timed thing to counter attack it. Basically, if they get a strike first, but if you hit the button before they try to hit you, I think it just cuts to a quick time event. I'm really excited for the bar with Pighead too. I hope it's not a disappointment. Ooh, this place looks odd. Oh, never mind. Case file. Of course that pen like belonged to uh, Dr. Gordon, who needs no introduction.